are you looking forward to the launch event? Great stuff. I mean, I've been looking at Stephen Handyside's work and he really does know how to make people look beautiful. I mean, look at me, I'm 73 years old, but I use L'Oreal anti-wrinkle cream because I'm worth it. No, I'm not really 73, don't, don't print that. <laughs> Yeah, no, it's, a, yeah, it's great fun. What a lovely venue as well. Really, really sleek. I think it really suits the magazine. It's really, really stylish and really nice, yeah. We're very excited. Mission Impossible getting ever closer. Um, talking about keeping in shape, do you think that it's uh, inspiring to see someone like Tom Cruise, still the biggest action star on the planet? It's amazing. I mean, he's very fit. I was actually up for another role in it. I mean, I've ultimately got a really nice part in it. But he is super, super fit. And his regime is incredibly demanding. And, um, you know... I think he's one of the only um, actors that really does, does, I mean there are a few, but he is probably the one that does the most of his own stunts and is the most committed and dedicated, he really is, I mean he's an inspiration, because he's, you know, he's a tiny bit older than me, only a tiny bit, but a little bit, and, and I think he's got a few years in him still, you know, I think he's going to make, I don't think he's going to stop tomorrow, he's a very committed guy, definitely. What do you think it is about this franchise, and particularly Tom as Ethan Hunt, that um, seems to keep fans coming back for more each time? They're so beautifully shot. The stunts, the stunts. I mean, you know, I'm not going to say that they're better than any other franchise, but the stunts are, they are really amazing. I mean, the new trailer is just phenomenal. I mean, the action, that, and this is, this is, you know, this is not CGI. This is really happening. So I think it's because the action is so intense. The scripts are good. It's beautifully shot. It looks amazing. Um, I think this, is, this one's going to do really, really well at the box office. I hope it is anyway. Definitely. I'm looking forward to the premieres in a few weeks' time now, two or three weeks. So I'm looking forward to that, definitely. You've got a chance to work quite a lot with Simon, I guess. Um, can you talk a little bit about that experience and what makes Simon such a, a great man to be around on set? Well, I think I said it in my last interview, but he's just a very, very, very funny guy. He's just... Um, uh, and so relaxed about things. I mean, he came, you know, he's, I think he's worked his way up. He, he did Shaun of the Dead, which is a great, he has wonderful comic timing. He just knows when the pause is meant to happen and then, and then out comes the line. And he's just so natural. He's one of the most natural acts I've ever been around. It, he's not trying to do it. He is a funny guy. It's, it comes naturally. So he's great to work with as well. We, had, we, we, we did about, I think, five, maybe even 10 days together. Uh, and he was just, had me in stitches nearly every single day, you know, he was brilliant, brilliant guy, a lovely guy, a really lovely guy to work with. You say he had, he, had you in stitches, um, what was he doing that was making you break up like that? Well, some of his jokes are a little near the mark, so I'm not going to quote any of them now, but he's just, just, I mean, I can't, I mean, the, the description of, of the scene that made me laugh so much, I can't give away because it's a secret scene and, and the, the geography of the set. But maybe after the premiere at Mission Impossible, I'll be able to let it slip. But he's just a wonderful guy, great fun to work with. They all are, you know, it's brilliant. Well, as you know, I've done the Vinnie Jones film, Kill Kane, which is very near to completion now. Um, as you know, I'm directing um, Give Them Wings about my disabled friend, Paul Hodgson. I'm also doing Iron Gate. Bogeyville. There's another franchise in the making as well, which is a, a modern day pirate franchise, 50 million plus budget, which is kind of James Bond meets Mad Max on the sea. So that's a, a big one to look out for in 2016, 2017. That's a very big one. Um, we've got an awful lot on the go, actually. And my executive producer is a very famous songwriter called Tony Waddington. He wrote Sugar, Baby, Love, and a lot of Tom Jones's hits. And he's executive produced a lot of our films and created them. And this guy really has the Midas touch. He's just an amazingly incredible guy. He's in his early 70s. And he just doesn't want to, he doesn't need to work because he's been very successful, but he doesn't want to retire. He just wants to keep going on and on and on. So we've got some great projects coming out with him. Um, I've just finished a wonderful film um, set in Ireland called Deirdre of Sorrow. It's based on Irish, Irish folklore. She's, um, uh, she was a mute, uh, a mute girl. She hadn't spoken all her life. Um, she had a horrible, abusive Catholic mother. And eventually she... Um, she realizes that her father is the head of a gypsy traveling uh, tribe camp. And it's a wonderful story is how she finds, although you think he's the rogue, she actually finds him in the end and it's a wonderful story. And I've been shooting in the Emerald Isle and, and Ireland is probably the most beautiful countryside I think I've ever seen. It's called the Emerald Isle for a reason. It's beautiful.